Hello everyone, I am Nakata Lili, starting my second Let's Play. Welcome to Let's Play Bonk's Adventure. The game was released in 1990 for the Turbo Graphics PC Engine. In Japan, the game is known as PC Kid. The main character you play as is a small caveman with an enormous head named Bonk. In the Japanese version, he never actually had a name, though they, I believe they ended up naming him PC Kid for the Turbo Graphics version, and in any other game, he was named after the system. But we'll get to that later. So let's start playing Bonk's Adventure. Now, as with most Turbo Graphics games, they don't give you all that much storyline in the actual game. Thankfully, I have the instruction manual handy where they do give you some, some backstory. Evil King Drool is up to it again. This time he's kidnapped the beautiful dragon princess Za and hidden her away. The year is 10,000 BC, and as Bonk the Caveman, it's your job to get her back. Unfortunately, there are not a lot of weapons around, so you'll just have to use your head. Literally. And that's pretty much how the whole game works. Your only weapon is your enormous head. You can bonk people with it. You can jump in the air. Down bonk them with it. And I seem to remember... Yes. Ah, delicious fruit. Delicious life. Now, just standing there and bonking, I believe does half the damage that a jump bonk does. So you'll probably be seeing me jump bonking as many times as possible. Now, fruit gives points and a little bit of life back. So that's always nice. The smileys that you get for killing some enemies, I don't especially think they give you much anything. They give you extra points at the end. I think when you beat a stage, you get some life back due to smileys. And be very careful of any of the plants you see that aren't breathing. Those are Venus bonk traps. If you touch one of those, a big nasty thing will come out and attack you. Meat! The main power-up in this game is meat! Get a small bonk, you'll turn into this nifty-looking dude. If he bonks the ground, he turns everything around him to stone. Yeah, I think it's the later games, or... If you get a second small meat while the first one... Or while the, you have the first power-up, you turn to invincible temporarily. And then you stay in a second stage. Which still pretty much does the same thing. If you bonk the ground, every enemy around you will turn to stone. Okay, that was level 1-1. One, one. Now for level 1-2. And you can grab onto rocks with your teeth. Then by mashing the jump button, you can bite your way up them. Ah, uh, back to normal. Now then, there should be some meat around here somewhere. Yeah, that'll do her. Big meat, instant invincibility. You'll be seeing that more and more sparingly as the game goes on. Small meat! More of the invincibility! And those things go away. If you step on that yellow thing, it will sink into lava. As well as some other areas, like if you step right there, that falls in. All in all, this isn't all that hard a game. At least the beginning. It gets harder later on. I have beaten this game a total of once. Without cheating. I beat it on the original Turbo Graphics, and... The last boss, I couldn't especially find any strategy for. It's just kind of a death fest 
bonk fest until either you or him dies. So you notice I have three hearts up in the corner. Those aren't necessarily three hits. Oh, I wanted to land on the flower. And we've been eaten by a giant dinosaur. Okay, watch out for the... I believe that's called a uvula. A smiling, happy uvula. Aw, oh, dang it! Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, there we go. Why the uvula is especially happy, I have no idea. Fish! No, I can't do much of a jump bonk underwater. Aw, oh, dang it! There we go. The blue guy will fall if you get close enough to it. There we go. More smileys that I don't think are especially useful. Whoa, that was close. Now, there's some vague form of a secret over here. If you can get in there, that is. It's not especially easy. Hey, I got it! How about that? Doesn't really let you bypass anything, just gives you an extra life. And now I have four bonks. And 2,700 points. Whatever points gets me. Oh, there. Oh, get away from me! Yeah, and if you jump, you're essentially bonking straight up with your giant head. So, if you're below an enemy, you can jump. How often you run across that situation, though, is another matter entirely. Okay, a little bit closer. Run, bonk! I don't know what these little things swimming around are. I can kind of see the fish. I think the um, little circular things were some form of native inhabitant. Bacteria, maybe. I don't know what these things are. Digestive? Digestive? Bacteria? I got nothing. Bonk! Heart! And guess what end of the dinosaur we came out? And whenever you see this, boss time. And I'm going to save state. So... Yeah, we're not turning around. And the boss music has begun. Right, you see his big glowing helmet? That would be his weak point. Bonk some of the bubbles. Ow. Easiest boss in the game because you can just do this and kill him. The other bosses? Not quite this easy. And that will do her. <laughs> Gee whiz! Thanks! I feel a lot better. Maybe that was a mind control helmet. I'm your new friend. Arf, arf, arf. Is he a dog? Yep, I get points for those smileys, and it refills my heart. Mind-blowing! They say something like that after every level. Round one cleared! Begin round two. Or begin two round. Yeah, that's grammatically correct. And this is a pretty good place to stop, so... Until next time, everybody, we'll pick up on level two. Take care, everyone.